scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that you Lord, I have come again. It is me again, your son and your daughter. Ministry must walk in Abuja. Lord, I'm tired of jealousy and envy, believing that other people were just lucky. I take responsibility and declare that the narrative over this work you have given me must change. Every land, like my pastor told me, is a good land. The riches of this land, you must find me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are very difficult places to go in this city. But not when you order a product and pay for it. When you order a product and pay for it, even if you are in the cave, the delivery man will find you because there was an instruction. They will find you until it gets to you. What order did you place in the realm of the spirit? And why are you complaining that nothing has come? It is not where you are. In the name of Jesus, I call for destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the riches of the earth and you are praying with understanding. Let me tell you the truth. There are many people who are givers, but they only obey God. They've not come to you. Because no instruction has been given to them about you. But it is within their power to release without restraint. Your assignment is to negotiate in the realm of the spirit with the father of spirits. And let him do the speaking to them. And they will come rushing like pastor said. I hope you are learning something tonight. You want to live an undeniable life, a life of evidence. Take away ignorance. Stop clapping that you have 35. Simply because you are in the presence of people who have 30 and 20. All of you is still, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but I'm just speaking apostolically. 35 is still F. 39 is still F. 40 is E. E is barely past. You won't go forward. There are those who have a B. And in their world, B is F. They are still pressing. They have a B.O. And there are those who have an A. But the A, they are not satisfied with 75. What, what of the remaining 25? You will see them at score 80 in the realm of the spirit. And they are still moving with the hunger of a student who has F. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. Because we know there's more that's found in you. Prophesy to yourself. And we will never settle for less. We know. Listen, I will tell you this. One of the things I love about Reverend Godwin, honestly, and I'm not saying it because I'm on his stage, is his hunger and his passion for things. I have seen his response to the word of God. And I stand by the God of heaven to tell you, if you are connected to this vision and you've not drawn out of that spirit of hunger, you are missing a lot. I have seen his passion I made up my mind, I am, uh, as a principle, I don't flatter myself, I don't over pamper myself. If God has done something, Father, thank you. You pat yourself at the back, that's all right. Next walk on ground. What don't I know? Because there are still virgin lands. 
don't allow people clap you into mediocrity and you remain there doing small things and celebrating yourself just because you are surrounded by people who are not seen far stretch and challenge yourself there is more you prayed for 30 people and only two God healed thank you father because I remain thankful but Lord why didn't 28 what happened the Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies of the apostle is that realm not attainable again Lord I return back to the altar and you pray like you have never handled the healing anointing and God says I see your hunger and I see your fire let's measure a thousand cubits for you again you are ready to dive deeper listen let me tell you this for someone I came here to cast out this arrival mentality from you arrival mentality small things small things small things respectfully speaking and I say this with every sense of honor if you're a man of God here let me challenge you by the spirit all of us together there, there are there the journey is still very far please do not ever find yourself in any kind of flattery whatsoever thank God for that which we have seen but compared to the master's expectation, we are only one step out of the cave. We have to be honest and stay. Pray like never before. Fast like never before. Get not from a competitive standpoint. Lord, I am enlarging my spiritual capacity until you give me the keys of nations. Don't be too quick to clap for yourself and celebrate yourself and say i am better than this businessman better than this they comparing themselves with themselves he says are not wise are we together you're a music minister don't sing and keep listening to yourself from morning till night just enjoying what you are doing is that the best challenge yourself there can be more there can be more this is what i tell myself all the time there can be more Those who really re arrive are those who never intend to arrive. Those who really arrive are those who never intend to arrive. They don't even know when they've crossed the finish line because they are still moving. You mean I'm done? No, no, this can't be it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, apostle, but I'm a billionaire. I just made my first two billion. How much have you given the kingdom without it affecting you? If you still can give something and lack sleep, you are not yet wealthy enough. Keep pressing. Until you can get up and God can give you a list of 20 ministries. And you can bless them and still go back secured because you are not broke after giving. You've, you are not yet there. Don't say I have a house, I have some estates, I have a few cars. Thank God for that. We salute your diligence so far. But the king's business still requires more. Are we together? Oh, man of God, I preached a wonderful message. And you can imagine how many people liked me. How many other people need to hear, need to be changed? Hallelujah. For as long as there is one person close to you who has not experienced the reality and the fullness of the life of God, take it as a challenge and keep pressing. I have prayed for people. I have seen people healed. But sadly, I have seen others who are not healed. That becomes my assignment. Thank God for those who were healed. I have prophesied to people and I have watched it turn their lives around. But I have seen a few who are still in waiting why is that so i take responsibility for it and begin to press listen this is the attitude of a winner our time is gone but we're going to take five minutes i don't know how you are going to cry to god there has to be that holy anger in your spirit father my life is not yet notable uh -uh. I, I confess that it is not yet it is not yet beyond it's not yet uh, um undeniable it, I, it, 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 there's there's still doubt as to whether you are the one helping me or not there is still doubt whether i was genuinely called or not lift your voice and pray in one minute 
please pray saneke pekata kaskoto prante galakatosia embra kataka toka tela kataka katos kate balanda shana kata sabre ke parus ke zine ka parus yata sabrante ke barata katosa lekata someone is praying someone is praying someone is praying shakata pekate kata what a life it's a new season for you but contend in the place of prayer on common results on common dimensions lord we step into fetching dimensions in the spirit of grace of wisdom Someone is praying. Pray for your ministry, pray for your family, pray over the mantle upon your life. Lord, this cannot be it. I stretch, I stretch, I stretch, I stretch, I stretch, I stretch. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. Philippians 3 and verse 13. Please give it to us. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. Yesterday's trophy, yesterday's result, Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you, but I know there is still more. It says, I reach forth to those things which are before is someone ready to pray you are a prophet have the nations had your voice we are still in confusion even though you are there don't say i have arrived go ahead and pray you are an apostle there are nations that are still in darkness you are a pastor you are a teacher there is still error around pray we all have not arrived we must pray greater grace oh god Shaka Kingdom financier, there are greater levels, virgin dimensions. Businessman, there are greater levels, virgin dimensions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job chapter 28. We are praying. Please don't be tired. Something is shifting in your life. From verse 7. 
Take me to the place, the place you are, the secret place. That's where I want to be. Will you take me to the place, the place you are, the secret place? Job 28 from verse 7. We are still praying. There is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vulture's eye has not seen. Next verse. The lion's whelps, even though he's a warrior, it has not gotten there, nor the fierce lion passed there. Lord, where is that path where champions have not yet gotten to? That these birds, although they have an advantage of height, they've not been able to see that realm. The lion that does not fear any dimension, what hid that realm that he has not gotten there? That is your next prayer point. Lord, take me to that realm. Take me to that realm in ministry. Take me to that realm politically. That realm of wonder. That realm of grace. Someone is praying. That realm of grace. Please pray. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we will rise in your name I don't know you reign on high. We will rise in your name. I don't know. You reign on high. Hallelujah. Please do not miss the other sessions. I just have one minute to speak over your life tonight. I'm, I'm seeing like 10, the number 10. And there are 10 people that God is calling you. Listen, God is telling you that many destinies are depending on you. Not just your family people, but many destinies. And the anointing of the Spirit is going to come upon you. Please, if I can have those people here just for one minute, we may not have all that time. Father, I am praying. I stretch my hands. Help them. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just, just do me a favor and help to bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. I don't know where these people are, but Father, the mantle for their destiny. In the name of Jesus, please don't just come out. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't come out at random. The power of God Himself will bring you. Please. You don't come out at random. The power of God will bring you. Please bring them. As the power of God comes on them, please pick them and bring them. 
in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Out at random, walk them back. Walk them back. Please bring them out. Shalalamat sada balagada baranda gadeka sodo boss. Skali brande gebaroskia. It's a new season. Something is coming upon you. Shanina sala baranda zelakosia tali katos. Embra katos atiyala haskada baladosia ta. Enkreti gebereti gete balakatoski atabatiya. There are some of you right now. God is trusting you with graces, the new wine. God is saying the old wine is finished. Hear me. Help them, please. The old wine, bring them out. The old wine is finished. God is saying you need a new wine skin because there is a new wine that I want to pour upon you in ministry, in business. The old wine skin. Don't celebrate the glory of yesterday. Yesterday is gone. There is a new wine coming upon you but you need a new wine skin the lord is showing me one person you are into the prophetic ministry i'm seeing the hand of the lord come upon you right now the lord is saying there is a dealing help that woman that he needs to begin to start with you because the nations are waiting the nations are waiting the nations are waiting i declare by the spirit please help her sir is this man a man of god are you a pastor what do you do do you do politics very much. politics very much very much in politics yes, I mean, i'm a politician Member. Yeah, he's a member. I want to pray for you. There is wisdom that God, no, 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 I'm not going to lay hands on you. There is wisdom that God is bringing upon you. It's one thing to help many, but God will have to use others to help you. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That you have helped many, God will use many to help you. I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman. I'm seeing you in a vision. You were back in a baby. The hand of God is coming upon you. You are a deliverer. Even over your family. In the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God. I decree and declare. I don't know where that person is. But may that fire that comes from heaven please help this man i declare may that fire rest upon you now in the name of jesus for you will never be the same you will never be the same we're about rounding up i'm hearing in my spirit restoration there are people who have lost particularly money you've lost whether in business you've lost money in some kind of venture listen let me tell you the, the name of the lord is a strong tower the bible says the righteous run it to it and they are saved can i prophesy over you in the name of jesus everyone here anything that has left you that should not have gone i stand by the god of heaven and in partnership with the grace and the mantle upon god's servant here i declare in the name of jesus receive restoration receive restoration yeah. under a certain condition everything that leaves you can return but until and unless that condition is put in place in the name of jesus i decree and declare again receive restoration yeah. receive restoration yeah. in the name of jesus christ please help someone who is going to shout loud at the back i just saw light i would always see this
Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Hallelujah. One last person. Is there someone here in the judiciary? The judiciary. You are a, I don't know whether you're a, 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 a legal practitioner. I just, the Lord just showed me something about someone that has to do with a judiciary. Please help them. Mighty God. I don't know where that person is. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are in the judiciary, madam? Yes. Do you believe God is able to lift? Yes. You, you too, mama? Practitioner. Legal practitioner. Can I pray for you? Father, I stretch my hands over these precious people here at this assembly and also this man you are the one who is able to lift men i decree and declare by this mantle and this grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may my god lift you step into a new season now help that woman please in the name of jesus i decree madam there is such a grace that is coming on you this woman the first woman who came out I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit and the Lord is saying he's lifting you. I declare this, I stretch my hands towards you. That fire that will make for your lifting, let it rest upon you. All of you who have come out as touching legal professions in the name of Jesus Christ, any embargo of witchcraft keeping you down, I curse it right now. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, go and excel. Go and excel. Go and excel. Go and excel. Above and beyond divination. Above and beyond enchantments. Go and excel. I extend that prayer to everyone here. If there is anything that has held you down so that you are at the same position year in, year out, Help them, please. I call on my God. Release them now. 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 I declare a prophetic jubilee. A prophetic jubilee. Everything tying you down. Please help them. Everything holding you down. I declare a prophetic jubilee now. Here at this conference, undeniable release from curses, undeniable release from spells, from enchantments in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them at the back there, my God, so they don't enjoy themselves. Please pray in one minute. I declare my release. I declare my release. It's time to go forward. Someone is declaring. I release you, I release you in the name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not rise, that says you will not move forward, that says Abuja or your environment will be hostile, I come against it by the blood. In the name of Jesus. And for all those who are out here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that is related to yokes, please help them, my God. Everything that is not of God, for all those who have come, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment, right now at the count of three, it lets you go now and forever. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I prophesy liberty. In Jesus' name I pray. In 
Jesus name I pray please listen to me if you are here in this place God bless you those in front those who can please let them just gently return back you are in this place please spare me a minute you came for this conference you are outside you are inside up the balcony or watching no matter where you are watching from and you are saying apostle as I heard you teach I'm realizing right now that I have heard the gospel many times but I've not taken that step of obedience to genuinely make Jesus Lord of my life or you might be saying I I remember coming across in genuine repentance but as it is now my life has gone haywire I need rededication fast we have just one minute for you whether you are up the balcony or down please don't wait for anyone to be the first you arrive here before them I'm going to count one to three I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus here as we appreciate them one are you coming let's honor them as they come run to Jesus swallow your pride run to Jesus a new beginning oh God don't enjoy anyone please take it easy take it easy run to Jesus while you are standing here don't look at me cry before the lord show me mercy oh god you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me oh you look beyond me oh you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me oh you look beyond me oh. keep coming i'm the one you have shown mercy you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy sing i'm the one say you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me listen no that's a demonic thing let him go now out now in the name of jesus please look at me those of you in front thank you so much for making this bold decision look at me the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away this is not some jamboree in church this is a genuine decision that will turn the course of your life around that you will forget that here at water life you had an encounter with jesus indeed it will be undeniable may i request in one minute that you lift your hand high above your head as a sign of surrender and for anyone who may be watching from across the globe by way of television or by way of the internet the lord jesus is speaking to you here is your chance to make it right with jesus he said ye must be born again for if our hope is only in this world the bible declares that we are of all most miserable please lift your right hand i want you to say it this loud and clear you are not reciting a poem this is a confession of faith that will translate to the administration of the life of god in your spirit say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe with my heart that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive you into my heart as my lord as my savior and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i am a recipient of eternal life i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these ones in the name of jesus you have brought them by your spirit and lord you have granted them the privilege of being partakers of your life through the new birth experience i commend you to the word of god and to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of jesus as for you you will only go from glory to glory and from grace to grace 
in Jesus name I pray amen and amen any instructions for them okay please okay all of you who are here may I please request that you follow the counselors waving their hands let's honor them as they go they'll have a word with you very quickly please keep clapping until they go God bless you Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Kata Bakotos Koto Brekateka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline